Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, you can probably tell I'm in an airport. And that's because I'm heading to Minneapolis, Minnesota for the Medical Right to Repair Summit, which is a pretty important uh, event. I'll, I'll have more details when I get there. So guys, if you're in Minneapolis, let me know. Um, I'll be in the area for the next couple days for sure. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to make a reply to somebody that was asking me about my tool selection because they said that I have fluke tools which are very expensive but why why would I have some bottom of the barrel tools and I think this is because I just did a video on sockets and <clears throat> I was very open that I, I get a lot of my sockets from um, Harbor Freight I guarantee most people out there can't tell me the difference between a Harbor Freight socket and somebody else. You're never going to know the difference. And I know professionals out there, even diesel mechanics, that are using Harbor Freight tools. I mean, a lot of tools like screwdrivers, I do get some of the best of the best. And obviously my measurement tools, I don't really sacrifice on quality when it comes to measurement tools. Most hand tools, aside from screwdrivers, most hand tools are negligible. You can get Milwaukee brand or something like that. That's that's definitely not like top tier. It's 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 up there, but it's not top tier. There are some exceptions. So one of the exceptions that I, I just mentioned was screwdrivers. Some screwdrivers are definitely better than others, hands down. And anybody that has used hand tools quite heavily will know that. Um, I don't use too many things like uh, crescent wrenches, not very often. Those things also get a little gritty when you get the cheaper ones, but um, pliers and stuff like that, I use Milwaukee brand, but uh, things like sockets, nah. It's, I, I will argue that all day long. There is not a $200 difference between snap-on sockets and uh, Harbor Freight sockets. It's, you're never gonna get your money out of that. So the, any intelligent person is going to mix and match their tool bag according to a budget but also according to its use and its expand its uh, expendability because some things like screwdrivers are technically expendable because they do wear out and some brands are better than others but that's that's what it is so guys um, to all you tool snobs out there that think like oh that's bottom of the barrel Chinese garbage I would venture to say that I've used my Chinese garbage much more and much harder than you use whatever brand name that you're associated with. Um, I use my tools all the time and I use them hard sometimes but uh, some things you just you realize it's not worth spending your money on and uh, this comes from a guy that's been cutting his hair <laughs> by himself for the last 20 years to save extra money because some things just aren't worth it and that's just how I, I am as a person so guys just letting you know, don't be tool snobs. And uh, just remember that there is not a $200 difference between a Harbor Freight ratchet and a Snap-on ratchet. There's not. You're never gonna get your money out of that. Other than your, your pride, you're never gonna get that kind of money out of it. So just letting you know. Thanks for watching, guys.